What message are you listening to? You may be telling me, you may tell me, you are trying to live for God. And that is good. But at the same time, are you listening to music or people expressing to you how good it is to do bad things like fornication and adultery, having sex with someone's spouse or having sex before marriage? Are the people around you and the music you are listening to is it telling you, I guess I can say, do it. Do it now. It is great. Don't be a loser. Have sex before marriage. Have sex with someone's wife. No one will find out. Are you listening to stuff like that? Are you listening to stuff about doing drugs, which I believe is wrong. Are you listening to people or music telling you how great it is to get high, to do drugs, get drunk? I guess turn up <laughs> while doing it. Are you listening to messages as that? Are you listening to messages about if someone disrespects you, beat them up, punch them, knee them, bust out their teeth? Huh? Are you listening to messages like that? Are you listening to messages like that and worse? Please tell me, how can you try to tune yourself in with the things of God and at the same time listen to mess that goes against God's rules? How can I be functional, I guess I can say, in the things of God, but at the same time entertain myself with mess? Yes, have sex before marriage. Yes, bust some people's teeth out. Yes, take someone's, take someone's wife and husband, yes. How can I listen to both and believe I can be a really good Christian? How can I listen to evil on purpose about doing bad things and stuff like that and believe I can do mostly everything right with pertaining to the things of God. Kevin, my music is okay. Yes, it is bad, but it has no influence with how I act and am now. Let me tell you this. When I would listen to bad music, I believe it changed the way I thought in many ways. I believe it made me start sagging my pants, like wearing, I guess my sweatpants, shorts, I guess my jeans too, to a certain point lower than they should be, sagging. 
not all the way off my butt, but kind of like midway or somewhere around that. I believe I started to cuss more. I believe I started to think about things, I guess, in a very bad way. It changed me. I believe it has changed some people. So what is the chance music isn't changing you? If music has changed many people, how can you say to yourself music has no effect upon you? Come on now. Are you around people trying to influence you to do wrong? Are you entertaining yourself with people like that? Kevin, yes, but it is my mom. Kevin, yes, it is my cousin or my dad. And since they are my family, I will not separate myself from my family because they are my family and it is an unwritten rule that we must not separate from our family. Let me ask you this. If you go to heaven and your family go to hell, are you going to tell God, God, that is my family. And I guess <laughs> there is an unwritten rule that I must not separate from my family. So if they are in hell now, hey, I have to go to hell as well. Will you tell God that, huh? Would you? I think not. So if you are going to be separated in the next real world, realm, or whatever you want to call it, separate yourself now. Why risk going to hell because of family or whatever? I believe we can be easily influenced or influenced in general. What message are you listening to? Yes, going to the beach may not be wrong, but if seeing women in bikinis will make you lust after them, don't go to the beach. Going to a restaurant may not be a sin, but if going to that restaurant will make you sin, don't go, right? Whether it is a sin or not, separate yourself from anything that will influence you to do wrong. I believe that makes sense, right? What message are you listening to? So even if you have to separate from your mama, your dad, your cousin, your friend for 80 years, or whomever, do it. There is a person I help, and I believe what helped that person so much, I believe one of it, I believe one of the reasons is that person has separated from quite a bit of people. If my old friends are fornicating, cussing folks out, doing evil, expressing hate, and stuff like that, why would I stay their friend? If I am trying to serve God and they are doing that mess, why would I stay their friend? Aren't, man, 
what they are doing, isn't it against the rules of God? So if I am trying to be for God and they aren't, why would I, man, why would I stay their friend? Who cares if it is my mom? Who cares if it is my uncle or cousin or whomever? If they are against God, guess what? They are against me. Because if I am for God and they are against God, how can they be for me in that aspect? Yes, they may help me with this and they may help me with that, my friend or whomever. But if they are against God, they are against me, right? Who cares about family? Yes, I am not saying to not help your family. I am not saying to not be generous for your family. What I am saying, don't let them influence you to do evil. So if hanging around them will influence you to do wrong, stop it. Stay away. Whether it is, whether it is your mom, cousin, best friend, whoever, teacher, acquaintance, co-worker, whatever. Stay away. Because how can you try to tune yourself into the things of God, but also tune yourself in with evil messages? That is probably why you are having a hard time serving God because you are listening to two things going against each other, right? Think about it. Let me stop here. God bless you.